If there was ever a case for legalizing pot and reigning in the drug war, this is it. Because without drug laws, who would raid the hospital room of a dying cancer patient? And then actually expect him to show up in court. Hey there, Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel. We talk about a lot of questionable government practices on this channel, and this video is no different. There are much better uses of both tax dollars and police time than raiding dying cancer patients over their pot vapes. But in Kansas, that's how the police decided to spend their Christmas anyway. Now, in Kansas, medicinal pot is still illegal. And regardless of that fact, how this all played out is overblown and ridiculous. 69-year-old Greg Bretz is literally on his deathbed. He's been hospitalized at Hayes Medical Center with terminal cancer for over three weeks and is at the point where his doctors have told him to do whatever he can to be comfortable. According to Bretz, he is bedridden, does nothing but lay on his back all day, and his doctor even suggested CBD products to aid in pain management. The doctors told him there's literally nothing else left for him but hospice care. Fast forward to December 16th, and there's Greg laying in his hospital bed, and Kansas police come busting in full tilt in a raid on his hospital room. Well, that's reasonable. He'd been using a vape and eating THC paste spread on bread to manage his condition. A hospital worker had seen him vaping and reported it to the police rather than addressing it with Brett's or his caregivers directly. Sounds like a fun guy. So three cops showed up, confiscated his belongings, and charged him with drug possession because they said the vape posed a fire hazard to patients on oxygen. Except Brett's isn't on oxygen. There are no oxygen tanks in the room. Sure, vaping in a hospital is bad form, but the logic of charging him with drug possession over a fire hazard that doesn't apply to him is convoluted and not how drug possession charges typically work. But the police were more interested in the paste, which isn't a fire hazard at all and is technically a medicine. The vape itself only held traces of THC, so what it comes down to is the police seizing pot paste from a dying bedridden man and charging him with drug possession for a fire hazard vape because they couldn't directly charge him with possession for his medicine. Makes perfect sense. They gave him a court date of January 2nd, and Brett said that he was going to try and speak with the prosecutors to push the date back because there was no way he was getting to court on that date. And not showing up at court means the judge issues an arrest warrant. At least at that point, he'll be easy to find. In 47 states plus DC, this would merely be an issue of violating hospital rules. But in Kansas, it's apparently a hill to die on. No pun intended. Good news on this story, after I originally wrote and filmed the video, it turns out that the same day that this originally hit the news, the prosecutors dismissed the charges. It's good to hear, but unfortunately the damage is done and the police still thought it was appropriate to raid a dying man, but they say they were just following orders. That's it for this one, folks. Please like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. Drop a comment down below. Please go vote for me in the Gundies, which I will also link in the description and the pinned comment. And thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.